So now let now let us trace the output. Okay. Now see here what is going to be the output. See guys, you have to be very specific here. Okay. Now of course two threads have been started and run method is going to get executed here. What is this l l dot run one method? L dot run one is what it is normal. See, I mean instance method. In order to execute that method, threads are not recommended to acquire the lock. So we are going to see am run one right. What is that? I am run one by thread zero or thread one. Okay, this is what a guaranteed one. I am run one method by any thread. Okay, but it will be for two times. The thread which is going to get ch first chance, it is going to get print here. Okay, let it be as zero or one, any one. Okay, try to focus. Okay, now after that, what I am calling here? Now think that thread one has completed this run one method and thread. Zero has completed this run one method and thread one also completed this run one method. Now thread zero is entering and it is executing M two method. What is M two method here? It is what synchronized instance method in order to execute that method. I don't know this thread may come first or this thread may come first, but the thread which comes first has to acquire the lock of object level lock. And the other thread, which is going to come in the between or in the middle, it has to wait because it has to acquire the lock. JVM will not allow that thread to execute that method on that instance, so it will be in waiting state. So let it be any any thread is going to get acquired. Let it be this thing. This method is going to execute right synchronized M2. Okay, synchronized synchronized M2. Okay, synchronized. M2 by any thread, even I don't know that one. Okay, but this one will get print for nine times. Okay, this one will get print for nine times. Till here, we can give guarantee for the output. Okay, now after that, try to observe. Think that thread one has got the first chance. It is, I mean, it is executing. After executing this particular method, it release the lock and. Thread zero will come here and it will execute this one. Thread zero and thread one will acquire the lock of what? Instance level or object level. Okay, it will execute this M two method. But thread zero in order to execute M one method. What is M one method here? Synchronized static method in order to execute the synchronized static method. It doesn't require to acquire the lock of object level lock. It is recommended to acquire the Class level lock. So class level lock is only one, and it is free right now. So this thread zero will acquire now what? Now thread zero will acquire which lock? Thread zero will acquire class level lock, and it will execute this one. Okay, thread zero. So there will be what to us an, as an output. There will be zigzag output to us. That is what synchronized M two by thread one or thread two. Okay, synchronized, synchronized. M2 by any one thread. I mean, like if it is like thread zero means here it is one. If it is like one means here it is zero. That is very important. And here and once again, this uh, static synchronized method is going to get executed. Here, let it be the implementation as what static synchronized thing. Okay, in SOP statement, I put it as what static synchronized method. Okay, synchronized method. Okay, let it be like any one thread. Okay, we don't know. So till here, I am guaranteed. Okay, these things will be seeing. I mean, we can see at console, but which thread is going to execute? We cannot. I mean, we cannot predict that one. Okay. Now, what is the other one means? What is the other one here means? So this thing is unpredictable thing, but it will be for 18 times. Okay. This static synchronize will be for nine times. This one will be for nine times. All together, 18 times. Okay. Now after that. After that, after executing this static synchronized method by thread zero, think that thread zero has got the chance first to acquire the lock of class level. After that, thread one has come, and at last we are going to see what a plain regular output related to our static synchronized method. Let it be like what the static synchronized. Okay, what is that static synchronized? Okay, method continuously for nine times. And this is guaranteed, guys. Okay. You you are going to see static synchronized here and also synchronized M2 here and this I am run one I am run one two times and this one is unpredictable to us. Now let us go and execute that same piece of code. Okay, now 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 the same piece of thing whatever I have written overboard the same thing try to observe here. I have taken what what I have taken one. Of course, this was our earlier scenario case thing only. Okay, now what is this synchronized this method? What is that synchronized instance method? It is having the implementation as what synchronized M2 method. Okay, synchronized M2 method and this static uh, synchronized method is having the implementation to bring to the I mean to print 
let it be like what let me take as what is here s i have initialized to am static synchronized okay now okay or else let me take what static uh, synchronized right okay i'll take just uh, static synchronized okay so that it will be good for you okay now after that what i have done here within the run method we have to do those things right what is that you can just look at over here only identifier names are getting changed first i have called instance method after that i am calling synchronized instance method after that i am calling static synchronized method in order to execute this method the thread master should acquire the class level lock in order to execute this synchronized instance method it has to acquire which lock instance lock that's very very important to us right okay now let us go and execute this piece of code try to observe this one let me compile this one and let me execute this one try to observe the board carefully guys okay try to observe the screen carefully of of course run one run one is sure and synchronize m2 is sure and after that after it uh, think that thread zero has acquired the lock after that thread zero will release the instance lock it will acquire the static i mean class level lock it is executing that one and simultaneously thread one is executing what synchronize instance uh, method that's why we are seeing zigzag output that is irregular output and at last thread one will execute this one what in a normal fashion static synchronized whatever the thread i mean which is acquiring the lock at last it is going to execute that one and this is what our static uh, synchronized method now let us look at synchronized blocks that is also one of the scenario for us to discuss here okay that is also one of the scenario for us to discuss here about that uh, synchronized blocks we are going to discuss in great detail at the time of inter thread communication very important to us definite interview question if you go for any mnc's if there is any coding test definitely they'll give they'll be giving one scenario to you and they'll be asking you to write the code related to the multi threading by using inter thread communication okay